It's really important to be able to link your style sheet to your HTML document. And at the conclusion of chapter five, uh, we do use an externally linked style, uh, style sheet that we have linking to the index.html document. And we do that in HTML by using the link tag. So you can see the link tag is in place. Um, and so that means that styles.css is being linked to index.html. We also can see styles.css uh, here is clickable. So we have the source code, which is index.html, and we have styles.css, and they're linked together because they're both sort of appearing when the index.html document is open. Right, so you can view this as index.html is the open document, and in that document we have the source code and the styles.css sheet, which is um, which is linked to source code. Um, and it's 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 really common for beginning students to you know forget the step of linking the style sheet. So um, I want to show you a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, I'm also going to show you. So right now this page, if I view this in in a browser. And so I'll close my chapter three and my Google page. Right now, this is what the page looks like. And if I maybe, you know, it's a little bit nicer if we do this. <laughs> uh, we're not totally uh, at the, the final version of the site yet. So uh, to be honest, this is a pretty ugly version of the website that we're working on. Um, but nonetheless, we do have some styles and they're showing up um, here as, 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 and they're being applied to the page uh, via the linked style sheet. So if I take the link away by just deleting this line of code, so I'm just going to select that and press delete, I'll click over here, and you're going to see a lot of changes. And I'm going to go ahead and preview this again in my browser. I'll save my changes. Now what's happening here, look at the difference between this and this. Here, all I have is the content. Now this is still showing up with my style because this was applied as an inline style. Uh, but everything else was added to my external style sheet, and so I'm not seeing the background uh, on the page, um, which is which is one of the main things that we've added to that external style sheet. Um, and I'm not seeing my link, um, you know, the way that the way that my link look, my link attributes. I'm I'm sort of just seeing the standard blue underline. Um, so if you notice when you go to view your work that um, you know, your CSS styles are not showing up on the page and your page just looks like kind of a shell of a page, probably your styles have not properly been linked. Um, so that's a good clue in terms of troubleshooting. So if I wanted to, you know, I still have styles.css. It's not as if I threw away my styles, I just disconnected them. So for this page, what I would do to sort of relink my styles is I would look in that CSS styles panel, um, and if you're for whatever reason not seeing that, you could go under window and you could show your CSS styles panel. And in that panel, if you look at the bottom of the panel, there's a link icon. And if you hover over it, it will say attach style sheet. And I'll go ahead and press that button. And then I'm gonna browse, and all I'm gonna do is find my chapter five folder in styles.css. I'll go ahead and press okay. And now I can see that link tag is there again, and my links and my styles are showing up on my page. And again, if I go ahead and view this in a browser and I save my changes, I should see that now I'm back to having my styles in place. Um, just to show the process, because a lot of times when you're following a book, everything kind of makes sense. And then when you go to do it on your own, uh, it's like, where do I start, right? So that, that's really common, a common experience for people. So let's just say you were going to start from scratch with file new, and you're going to open a blank HTML page. You're just going to give this a quick name. We're testing here. I'm going to just do a file save as, and I'm just going to save this as test.html. OK. Um, testing, linking, and externals. OK, so this is what my page is doing here. So right now I have no styles linked to this page. There are no defined styles. There are no linked styles. The link tag is missing. But if I were just starting from scratch, I would open Dreamweaver. I would define my site. I would either go to new site or manage sites. I would make sure I had you know chapter five or whatever my site was called loaded there. I would give my uh, title some content. I might put something on the page just to see something. 
And I would save the page um, or save as. I can go ahead and just press File, Save and call this test.html. Um, once the page is created and saved, then you could either create a new CS, you know, external style sheet or you could link to an existing one. So if I wanted to link to my existing style sheet, I would press that link button again and OK, go ahead and, and link up styles.css. I'm going to delete that tag because I want to show another way to sort of approach this. I'll refresh over here. Um, I could instead uh, just start by saying let's make a new CSS rule and when I make a new CSS rule uh, usually I want to go ahead and make uh, a new CSS uh, rule for the body tag. That's really common, a common thing to do. And then down here I'll just choose a new style sheet file. So instead of defining my rule in this document I'm gonna go ahead and just create a brand new style sheet file. I'll press OK and then I need to save it. So this is gonna be you know, this is going to be my new style sheet. I'll just call it style01.css. So now I'm defining my body tag. Um, and so maybe I'll just give it, just so I can see something changes on the page, I'll give it some kind of background color. And then over here, um, whoops, where am I on the page? I'm going to go to box and I'll just go ahead and say zero and zero for my padding and margins and I'll press OK and now I can see that I have a linked style sheet style01.css that body is the tag that is so far defined in that style sheet I have my link tag showing up here um, and I have my properties that I could um, alter the values for down here in the styles area again if I go ahead and preview this in a browser and save all of my work I'll get this, uh, some files need to uh, be saved that haven't been saved yet. That's basically referring to the CSS style sheet. I'll just go ahead and click yes. And I can see now my test, uh, my test has the properties and values that I set in my external style sheet. And if I look in my code, I can see that that link has been created. You always want to see link href equals and then just, you know, more than likely just the name of your CSS um, document. So uh, one very common error that I see is um, for whatever reason people move their files around a lot of times and so in here instead of just seeing the name I'll see file you know whatever and then I'll see like you know hard drive desktop you know chapter 5 whatever so something like that. Now right now obviously that's not going to work because my styles is actually in the same folder as my index page so or my test page rather so um, I should, since these two files are in the same folder, I should really just be pointing to styles, uh, style01.css. Uh, but I, I usually know if I see student work that has this in it, uh, and then the style, you know, inevitably the styles don't link up, it's because this stuff was added when a file was moved. So if this happens to you, just delete all of that stuff. Just have only the name of your file. And as long as your style sheet and your HTML document are being saved in the same folder, um, you shouldn't have a problem seeing your styles load on the page.